even all. Um, <clears throat> just going to do um, another inbox review. Uh, this one I've done before, um, but I was going back today looking for something, and uh, when I was viewing that video, I didn't realize how blurry the video was. I've gotten a different camera since then. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, the video's been up <laughs> two years now, <clears throat> but uh, today was the first time I ever actually watched it. And I didn't realize that it was so out of focus. So I'll redo that video again today. Uh, it's for the Corvette Summer uh, conversion kit that I have. Uh, but before I get to that, um, just uh, wondering if you guys know of any online hobby stores or anything, either in Canada or the US or wherever, that might have the Fujimi uh, Lamborghini Gallardo kit. Um, I'm particularly looking for the yellow version. Um, the kit's out of production now. Uh, I found a couple on eBay, but being out of production, the prices are out to lunch. 90, I think $92 was the cheapest one that I found. Uh, not really interested in paying that much for it. I uh, checked a few online stores that I know of, and they're all um, at a stock course. But every now and again, you can find a store that has some old stock kicking around. So, um, yeah, just wondering if... Uh, a couple of you guys, if you're in buying online stuff, you happen to spot it. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, just drop me a, a line or an email or something to let me know. <clears throat> but anyways, back to what this video is about. So like I said, this is the, um, this is the uh, Corvette Summer Conversion Kit. Um, so uh, just let me get this out of the box and out of the plastic and uh, be right back. Okay guys, so um, we'll have a look at the wheels first. So the Corvette in the movie had the um, turbine, these turbine style mags. Um, these give you big and smalls, front and rear. Uh, for some reason I got three front ones, no two rear ones. Um, probably just threw an extra one in there by mistake. Um, these are the side pipes, and these will need <clears throat> these will need a bit of work, a bit of clean up. You can see there, and they're both the same. They're both going to require some uh, some work. <clears throat> um. Interior door cards. Two of those. I'm not so sure what the difference is between these and the stock Corvette doors. So this uses a uh, AMT. <clears throat> I think it's the AMT 68 427 Corvette as the donor. This is the rear diffuser, I think, this piece. Also needs a little bit of work. And here's the dash. <clears throat> if you remember, the car in the movie was right-hand drive. Um, the actual fact, when I was a kid, that was one thing that I didn't like about the car, and I still don't like it. So when I build mine, I'm not sure if I will make it a right-hand drive. I may just use the uh, stock dash. Um, here's the rear light. It's made out of a clear red resin. And the Stingray is embossed in there. So quite a nice job on that. It does need some uh, polishing. And Here are the two tail lights, 
And the kit also comes with these mesh brass screens. Uh, I think these go into the I think the um, stacks on the hood. I think is where the, where that goes. Uh, <clears throat> the kit also comes with a interior tub. Again, not sure what the difference is between what well, I guess the yeah I'm not sure if this is on the right side or if that's yeah so I'm not sure what the difference is between this tub and the tub that comes with the um, comes with the kit. Sorry about that guys, uh, phone call there. Uh, so yeah, so just get back to it. Um, it comes with the frame, <clears throat> much like the interior. I'm not sure what's changed, it just looks like a standard Corvette frame to me. So uh, again, when I get the donor kit, I'll be able to uh, check on that sort of stuff. Uh, here's the body. Um, <clears throat> this is just, uh, this all just needs to be washed and cleaned. A lot of this, but this is uh, quite smooth. Uh, fairly, pretty clean. I mean, there is a the typical cleanup that needs to be done on a on a uh, resin kit. Uh, this is pretty thick, fairly thick resin, but again, it's a resin body that's to be expected. If you want the T-tops, um, you'll have to cut these out and um, you'll have to graft on the T-top part from the donor kit, the crossbar and the like. Um, Firewall could be better, but <clears throat> and finally the hood and nose piece doesn't come with any lights. You have to get your own lenses. I don't know what kit would fit. They're fairly small. Uh, but you could probably just make your own with some uh, testers window maker or something like that. You could probably make your own lenses pretty easily. Uh, I think this is where the mesh, brass mesh goes in here. So those would have to be, those need to be cleaned out. Uh, as well as this, you can cut this out and put some screen or something in there. So there is a fair amount of cleanup to do on this. Um, inside the hood, it's not really, it would take a lot of work to make it, I'll say presentable to be opened, but it does have, you know, the details of the light back and stuff. This would just have to be cleaned, cleaned up and painted. <clears throat> But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, they're not that easy to find. I only really came across that one by accident. Um, I just wondered one day if there was a kit, and when I looked, there just so happened to be one there. Um, unfortunately, as well, they're not that cheap. And again, I guess due to them not being that popular, that uh, easy to come by. So uh, anyways guys, uh, enough rambling, that's, uh, that's a look, or another look, at that Corvette summer conversion kit. Uh, I'll pop up a picture here at the end of the kit that I think is the donor for this. Um, so uh, as always guys, uh, thanks for watching and hope you stay tuned for updates.